we talked about a t and pi equivalent circuit for mutual inductance in the last time we met but I want to just make sure you have the notes there with you so if you have this circuit you have a mutual inductance where both currents entering the dots the equivalent t circuit for that is this one again if you want to prove that you can just find the equation for v1 v2 for both of them and see if they really match like for this one what's v1 equal to l1 times the derivative di1 dt now I'll leave the sign let's look at the mutual inductance di2 dt and now let's see what the mutual inductance does the current comes this way it marks this plus to minus which means the dot here plus to minus notice this polarity here the plus matches the plus and the minus matches the minus that's a plus here and you will find that V2 equals L2 DI2 DT. Let me start the timer so I don't have to redo this video. Oh. L2 DI2 DT plus the mutual inductance di1 dt again why is it plus because this current comes in and marks it plus to minus that matches that polarity let's see if i solve for v1 here i'm not using mutual inductance would i get this expression well we do kvl this is i sub 1 going in this is i sub 2 coming in the way i define them going in both of them matching this so v1 there's no mutual inductance here L1 minus M DI1 DT plus the mutual inductance times the current down DDT of what? I sub 1 plus I sub 2. I don't know why I'm using capital letters, but. So if we simplify this or if we open it, that's L1 DI1 DT minus m di1 dt plus m di1 dt plus m di2 dt and notice these two was my red marker is not here right here purple i guess uh notice these two will cancel each other out and you end up with v1 equals l1 di1 dt plus m di2 dt and that matches v1 and we can also do v2 here v2 l2 minus m di2 dt plus m times the current down which is i sub 1 minus i mean plus i sub 2 they're both pointing down open it that will be l2 di2 dt minus m di2 dt plus m d i1 dt plus m d i2 dt and again notice here m d i2 dt and m d i2 dt they cancel each other out and we have v2 equals l2 d i2 dt plus m d i1 dt and again this one matches this one so that tells me this is really the equivalent of this that's the equivalent circuit
Now, what happens if the polarity of the dots here are not matching? I drew that picture to save some time. And we found out that this value will be L1 plus M, this value L2 plus M, and this value will be negative M. And I meant to write that, I don't know, I just put it here, but it really, it could show up. It says negative self-inductance self may appear. Let's come back here. If M is bigger than L1, this will be a negative value. So this is not just for this case. This statement here applies to both. There'll be negative here, and also we might have negative here and negative here. So it's possible to have a negative self-inductance. And again, we can derive this quickly. I'll do one of them. I'm not going to do both. V1 here equals what? L1 di1 dt. And let's look at the mutual inductance di2 dt. The mutual inductance, the current comes down. It marks this plus to minus which means the dot here is going to match that dot. It's going to be minus here. It's going to be a plus. Notice V1 in relation to this one. It's a minus. And if we do V2, it's going to be L2 di2 dt minus m di1 dt. So now let's take, let's look at it. Oops. I'm trying to look at my timer, keep an eye on it. So what's V1 here? Again, I sub 1 is going in this way, and I sub 2 is going in this way, the same direction. So V1 is going to equal what? L1 plus M times Di1 dt. Here's the minus m times the current down, which is derivative of I1 plus I sub 2. So if you open that one, L1 di1 dt plus m di1 dt minus m di1 dt minus m di2 dt. Let's see if anything cancels. And what do we have for V1? V1 is going to be L1 di1 dt minus m di2 dt. And notice this one should be the same as this one. And if I do V2, I guarantee you the answer is going to match. So I'm not going to waste our time trying to match the answer and see if it does matches or not. I know it's going to equal to. I said your value might be negative. So let me take a quick example. Here we go. I'm using paper so you might see stuff on the back, but I'm running out of paper here quickly. And this is 30 millihenry. And this is 60 millihenry. And let's say the mutual inductance M is 40 millihenry. Remember the value of M. The value of M is always going to be less than or equal to the square root of L1 times L2. So it could be larger than this, but it can't be larger than this one. And the current is going to it. 
So the pi equivalent for this, I mean, we'll do the t equivalent, not the pi, we didn't get to the pi yet. Maybe I'll separate the videos. This is L1 minus M. This is L2 minus M, and this is M. So the equivalent of that, as I said, it might, it may be a negative value. Well, in this case, it is. So this will be 30 minus 40, which is negative 10 millihenry. You can replace that with negative 10 millihenry. This one is going to be 60 minus 30. That's 30 millihenry. And this is 30 millihenry. This circuit is the equivalent of that one. I will stop the video here.